Okay, folks. Hey, buddy. Checking it out? What is it? Give this a sniff. What's this? What's over here? <laughs> They're checking it out. Yeah, this is, uh, well, it is what it is. I think it's a 62, September of 62, Schwinn Speedster. Yeah, yeah Scout approves. Uh, it's a small frame. Let's, let's do a quick overview of what's happening here. Uh, it was very, very cheap, almost free. And uh, we're going to do a... I don't think this is going to be on the live feed for Saturday, but we're going to... We will work on this eventually, and it will be runner. But it's got some issues. Let's go over the issues. Okay, first issue is, you know, it's dusty, it's dirty, there's cobwebs all over it. It's really grimy. Uh, pedals have seen better days. I think these are what they call in the trade. We call these the rolly pedals because they roll right onto a dog's nose. Anyway, so that one's definitely been rolled a few times and that's gone. Same on the other side. It's a rolly pedal. Missing one of the rollers. Yeah, that's great. Might be able to make one pedal out of two, but it's not really worth it. Uh, the kickstand is missing the pin. You can see this part is out. Uh, that's a problem. You know, obviously it's a reproduction tire. It's probably cracked and no good. Um, the seat post is up too high. The seat post should be down a little bit. That's about the full extension of it. If you ride the bike like this, you'll break the frame off. Uh, fortunately, that didn't happen. It's a 62. It's missing the front fender. That's incorrect. That is the wrong fender. Yeah, uh, the brake bar here is one of the brake arms is slightly bent, which is sad because these are nice Schwinn approved, Schwinn script, Schwinn approved brakes. Uh, emblem is all faded, messed up. The stem is in the upward position, which is also too high. That's way too high. Somebody was riding this bike that was a little taller than they should have been, and they jacked everything up to the higher settings. That's okay with the fork, but for the seat, for the seat, no, that's you'll break the frame. Uh, shifter is here, a little peeled back. I can't remember if this year has a plastic cover that protects it. I don't think it does. That's been peeled back. This cable looks like it has been replaced with the wrong style. Yeah, that's one of those stiffer mountain bike. Yeah, somebody did something there that wasn't too smart. These are original cables. Um, the black grips may have been replaced. I'm pretty sure that if the bike has the red and white saddle, it should have the red sparkly grips. But I'm not too sure on that. Maybe, maybe for this year they didn't throw those in. It is a Speedster. Uh, the cable has definitely been replaced. You can see that little aftermarket deal from Shimano probably. This wheel has a little chip in it. They always do. Uh, this brake cable is adjusted to the full max and it's frayed right there so that is definitely toast and so are the housings uh, it's missing the clip here there's another metal clip that clips this in um, for this year speedster i'm pretty sure they didn't have the welded tabs underneath here to take the brake cable i'll check on that uh, maybe this bike was originally a coaster brake i don't think so because it has the hand brakes but I'll check on that. Maybe maybe the Curve Bar Speedster didn't have those and it had the clip. That's probably what was going on. Only two or three, four years on this frame. I'll check. Uh, it's got the nice... This might even clean up a little better. Oh yeah, we can, we can clean that better. It does have AS bolts. This one is missing. It should be AS right here. Somebody mangled that pretty badly. It probably had a speedometer on there. Uh, that one's been chewed. But the rear AS bolt, the Arnold and Schwinn bolt, the much sought after, is there. It's rusty and it's upside down, but that does say AS. Okay, let's check the hub real quick and make sure. Oh, that right, like that kick scan is gonna do something. We're gonna check the hub and see what date code's on it. 
Yeah, we're gonna spray some cleaner on there. See that? <laughs> we're spraying cleaner on it right now. Uh, the hub should be dated. Oh, there it is. Is that it? No, hang on. Bear with me. One hand is here. I don't even need to put my glasses on. Imagine that. Uh, oh, here it is. Yeah, as I suspected, it is 10 of 62. I don't know if you can see that. There's a 62 stamped right there, and there's a light 10 right there. And this serial number is J2. I believe that's September of 62. So that would make sense. It's a 62 September frame and the hub is dated October 62. You know, things are kicking around in the factory. They're making things. Uh, what else? She went approved back brake. That's good. Saddle looks really nice up in there. Yeah, wrong fender. Uh, usual pitting on the bars. I believe these to be the original bars. We'll know more when we shine them all up and look under there for the date code. Uh, this speedometer bracket is sharp and has to go um, the rear reflector is missing and this is what's left of something of a rear reflector. I don't quite know what was going on there. Uh, I, there's a piece of rubber from a plumbing that looks like a plumbing washer for a sink spigot. <laughs> yeah, I don't quite know what was happening here. Fender's bashed in. Has the chrome stays. These might clean up real nice. And hopefully this three-speed hub is good. Uh, wrong front wheel. This back wheel is a S5 three-speed back wheel. Uh, definitely has some issues here. Maybe even some cracks. I'm not quite sure. We'll have to look at that closely. Uh, repro tire. And this is the wrong front wheel. This is a 26 by 1 and 3 8 E. What's that? Uh, this is a non-Schwinn front wheel. So that has to go. This fender has to go. And it has to be cleaned up. Oh, and one more thing. The cranks are bent. Oh, that was almost a deal breaker. If you sight down here, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. If you sight down this one, and then you look at that one, the cranks are straight up now. We're going to go over and see how that one's kicked off a little bit that way. Yeah. From experience, I know the cranks are bent, which is really unfortunate because they're the original ones and they will be date code on those cranks. So we'll have to get a different pair of cranks too, or I might be able to bend those back. It's really hard though. Uh, you have to turn the bike upside down, have somebody sit on the back wheel and you bend one arm back without the pedal on it. It's great. <laughs> okay, so let's check the back wheel. Maybe it even shifts. Kind of doubt it. Okay. You know, of course, the tires completely hammered. Yeah, the rim's not actually too bad. Okay, we won't even mess with that thumb shifter. We're just going to pull it right here. Let's see here. Where can I put you? I'm just going to pull this and pedal it. So I think it's in third right now. Okay, is that first? We got a gear. We'll go in a little bit. Mm. Doesn't look good. Here, we'll undo, the, undo this completely. Okay, that's... Oh, okay, there's third. They had the cable unadjusted wrong. They had the cable too tight. There's third. There's second. Oh, that's first. First. Second. Third. Okay. We've got three speeds. 
And you see how I did that? I unconnected the cable and pull that by hand. Coast, pedal, coast, pull. Yeah, look how pointy these gears are. Dude, someone got some really good wear out of that. Yeah, this thing has definitely been used. Oh, the pin is there. Huh. The pin is there. It's either the wrong pin or this is broken. I don't quite, that doesn't really look like a Schwinn pin. It looks kind of big. Mm, well, another thing to discover later. Okay, so we're gonna sight down these cranks too. Now we can see. Okay, see how that one's straight? Let me go over here. And this one's kicked off that way. I don't know if you can really pick that up. Oh yeah, you can see it here. See how this is straight? And that one's kicked that way a little bit. Yeah, they're bent. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. Okay, have a good day. <laughs>